What up, y'all? It is Tuesday afternoon. It's your man Earl. We are here at the house once again uh, at the home office. And today's day 49, almost 50 days into 2020. It is amazing that the Most High God has brought us this far. You know what we're in. We're in the middle of our uh, capital campaign. We are uh, really our capital campaign slash fundraiser. We're raising $125,000 for our bookstore fire we had December 16th, and we are in the midst of that. So we thank you guys for those of you who are giving, as well as those who are partnering. We also have our uh, our PayPal. You can give to us directly. Link is below. We can also give to our cash app. That link, uh, not necessarily a link, but our cash app handle. The Fig Tree Bookstores, also the other one. PayPal is the Fig Tree Bookstores, and then, of course, our GoFundMe. You can look it up. The link is in the comment section below. The Fig Tree Bookstores, uh, that link is down there. Follow us on our social media, Instagram, follow us on our Twitter. And we are uh, just excited that we are here once again, day 49. Today is the 18th of February. And I have to, I want to give this to you, very important subject today. We might do a little more exploration in this topic, identity crisis. A lot of us, a lot of people have no idea who they are, where they're going, the direction they're going in, how fast they're traveling. And we have been looking at this, not just this week, this a couple of days. This has been something that's been uh, very close to me because I do mentor and do talk to young adults, particularly young men, I guess young women as well, through the programs that I help and I volunteer with, and of course at church. And then just being a business owner, I try to help people that when I can help them. And a lot of people have no idea who they are in their identity. So I said it to say this, you really have three areas where you get your identity from. Number one, the inside, where you get your identity from is from the inside, right? And then the second place that you can get your identity from is from the outside, the outside world. And there is a major conflict going on between the outside world and the inside world. And it's constant. The world is constantly telling you who you should be and how you should be. That's the outside world. They they are very good at telling you who you should be and what you should be doing. And then the second part, which is really, really tough, is do you have the self-image to be able to own you? A lot of people own nothing about themselves. They don't own the mentality. They don't own the language they use. They don't own the mentality. They don't even own their own Headspace. They don't even own their own emotional intelligence. Other people tell them how they should feel. Other people tell them what they should do, what they how they should wear their hair. And it goes on and on and on, right? So, but do you have enough love of self to own self? Or are you superficially whimsical and you allow the outside world to tell you who you should be? And then the highest level of identity is the mind, body, spirit, mind, body, soul. Who are you? Does your identity come from your spiritual belief system, the very edges of who you are, okay? And I challenge you to look at those three areas, the outside, the world, the inside, you, and then look at the soul of the individual. Look at you. Who who are you? Who are you really when the lights are on? Not off. When the lights are on, when the light, when things are on, when things are in your face, where do you get your value system from? Okay. Once again, day 49, identity crisis. Are you constantly looking and receiving from the outside to, to, to govern, to tell you who you are? Or have you developed enough core self-love, self-image about yourself that you, are, you can finally take ownership of you? And then once you take ownership of you, then I challenge you to go to the highest level of identity, which is who you are in the most high God, you should know who you are from a eternal perspective, who created you, what you believe in, what your gifts are spiritually, the type of talents you have, you can seek those things out. Okay. Day 49, Tuesday afternoon, getting it in once again, it's your man Earl and uh, identity crisis it doesn't have to be you. You can spend the rest of your life making sure that you are who you claim to be. 
own it. Own you. Own your own headspace. Okay? This is your man, Earl Day 49. God bless. Peace.